Hello and welcome to a 30 minute core workout with me, Ross, from Banatang's New Craig Hall. Today we're going to do a, a, an abs workout uh, on the floor at home. So hopefully you've got yourself a little bit of space, whether it's your living room, bedroom, garden, wherever you've got a bit of space. Um, please make sure the area around you is safe so there's nothing that's going to fall on you or you're not going to whack into anything. Um, put on some music. I won't be playing any so that you can hear me, um, but if the radio suits you, great. If you've got your favourite Spotify playlist, bang that on. Make sure that you have some water or a, a cup of tea, uh, whatever, whatever you like. You're at home, maybe you've got a gin. I'm not going to know. <laughs> and uh, just let you know, this is a very intermediate level workout, so hopefully it'll suit a broad range of people. Of course, you could do the whole thing again if you're a little bit more advanced, or if it's your first time doing this type of workout, maybe just do the first 10 or 15 minutes. The first thing we're going to do uh, is a very short warm-up. Um, of course, we're going to just be using our hips uh, and our abs and potentially our lower back, so there's no real need to limber up anything else, okay? So what we're going to do is lie on our back and we'll do a couple of the movements which we are going to go through today, okay? So first of all, we're just going to do 10 crunches, all right? When we're doing a crunch, our head starts on the ground and we're going to bring it up and squeeze, okay? Shoulder blades down, head down and up, that's two, squeeze. Uh, again, okay, a little bit of shaking. This is my second workout today, so I might shake a little bit more than normal. If you find yourself shaking, don't worry about it. That's perfectly normal. Maybe just means that you're trying hard, so it might be a good indicator. Give me three more. Last one. Three. Good, okay, we're going to put our hands under our hips and we're going to come in the opposite direction. Our feet are going to come together and we're going to touch our heels down and then we're going to bring our knees in, okay? So we're going to do a reverse crunch. Again, a little bit of shaking, a little bit of straining. That's absolutely fine. Okay, we're going to move across the hips and we're going to move up. Good. Warming up those hip flexors. Not working too hard because this is just the warm-up. Good. Two more reps. Then we're going to bring our knees into the chest. Okay, and we're going to reach one leg out at a time. Okay, stretching out, nice and easy, nothing too difficult to begin with. Just making sure that our hips feel good, our abs feel fresh, our back isn't in any pain, and we're otherwise healthy and happy and ready to work out. Okay, last time we're going to bring our legs out and then up and then down. Ten of those. This is just the warm up, okay? <laughs> if this is enough for you, geez, you're going to be in for a shock. <laughs> Keep going. Give me five more reps. One, two, three, four, last one. Five, okay, feet down. We're gonna go them into a glute bridge, okay? Because what we're trying to do is, we're trying to bring in our lower back when we're doing all of these exercises, okay? So we're gonna squeeze on our glutes and we're gonna feel pressure and tightness in our lower back. We're not gonna come up too high, down. Good. I think it's important to include a little bit of lower back warm up and mobility when you're doing your abs, in any abs workout, because they are synergistic to the abdominals, and to be honest with you, they are a really important part of your core. Okay, we're gonna do four more. Glute bridge. Three. We're gonna come to the top, squeeze in those glutes. Feel that lower back tightening up, but we don't want any pain. Last one, down, and up we get. Good, okay. This workout uh, is gonna consist of six exercises, only six. We are gonna repeat through it um, four times in total, um, and we're not gonna be 
beasting ourselves on each exercise. All right, we're only gonna be working for about 30 seconds per exercise. Each round, each time we repeat it, we are gonna have a different theme, okay? So we're gonna be working on something other, um, some other aspect of the workout than the last. So if you've come to one of my classes before, you know I love a whiteboard and, ta-da, <laughs> the whiteboard. We're gonna do, that's the wrong whiteboard. Ugh, this is the right whiteboard. See, I've got like 100 of these things. Four rounds, okay? We have a normal round, okay? That's gonna be number one. Then we're gonna have a round where we go a bit faster. Same exercises, more pace. Then we're gonna go a little bit slower, okay? Sometimes going slower with, ex with these exercises actually makes them a lot more difficult to perform. Finally, we're gonna have a freeze round, okay? So where I'm gonna move and then I'm gonna say stop. Wherever you are in the movement, you have to stop and control the position regardless of where it is. All right, understand? Good, no more whiteboards. Let's get started. Six exercises, 30 seconds each with a short break in between each one. Round one, normal. First exercise is sit-ups. To perform a sit-up, just in case you don't know, you put your feet on the ground. You might wanna put a mat down or something smooth underneath you because if you're doing this on carpet, you can get a bit of a friction burn on your back. I'm hardcore though. I'm not going to do that, all right? Boop! 30 seconds. Feet on the floor, knees bent, and we're going to try and get all the way up. Three, two, one, and go. Sitting up and back. Sitting up and back. Now, a sit up is distinct from a crunch because we are using our hip flexors. We are coming all the way up and we're trying to get our chest to meet our knees. There are a few different ways of doing this exercise. Some people like to touch in between, some people like to touch outside, and some people just like to keep their hands up here on the temples, and that's absolutely fine. Three, two, one, and last rep, 10 seconds. We're gonna call that normal pace, all right? Next exercise, we're gonna do a heel touch. Our feet come into the exact same position which we were in for the, uh, the sit-ups. What we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten our arms and we're gonna to touch side to side on our heels. 30 seconds starts now, go. Okay, what we want is we want to be in this crunched position the whole way through, okay? So we want tension on the front of our stomachs the whole way through. Nice, normal pace, touching my ankles or heels. And as we go side to side, we're going to include a little bit of our obliques and transverse abdominals oh, and it really begins to sting. We've got 10 seconds to go guys, side to side, three, two, one and stop. Okay good, crunches again, what ab routine would be complete without crunches, all right? The way we're gonna do our crunches is similar to position to the sit-ups and the heel raises. We're gonna put our hands on our temples, not behind our head, and we're gonna have our head on the floor. Let's do 30 seconds, lifting our shoulder blades and our heads up, starting now. Let's go, squeeze, squeeze. Good, every rep should include a pause at the top, okay? I want you to feel that contraction. I want you to feel what muscles you are using and how everything works together in the movement. Oh. Oh. Three, two, one, stop. That was exercise number three, on to exercise four. For this one, make sure you've got a space below you. You're gonna go out long. You're gonna have your hands up above your head, you have your feet stretched out, and you're gonna tuck into a ball. All right, you ready? And three, two, one, tuck. Touch the legs, back out. Tuck, touch the legs, back out. Nice and long, nice and small. Nice and long, nice and small. Great. We've got 10 more seconds. 
try and keep that pace and try and keep that rhythm consistent. I don't want you going too fast because we are going to try and up the pace in the next round. Good, rest. Next exercise is a side plank, okay? We're going to do it on our left hand side to begin with. The way I like to do it is, hopefully you can see my feet properly, top leg forward, foot on the ground. I don't have any shoes on because I think it helps me when I'm working out inside, okay? You might feel differently, especially if you've got a laminate floor or something. So your foot goes down like this, then it's the side of the foot there, top leg forward, second leg, sorry, back leg, bottom leg back, arm straight, and then we lift, and we're gonna go high, okay? So my arm's up in the sky, and I'm gonna reach through. Here we go, 30 seconds. Okay, so this is a moving side plank. I'm trying to thread the needle. Okay, so if my arm is the needle, I'm trying to thread it through that hole I've created underneath. Good. And what was I just saying about my feet <laughs> sliding? Okay, three, two, one, drop it down. Easier version of that as an option, which I'll show you. We're going to do the opposite side. If having your legs straight was too difficult, what you can do is just bend the knees, go on the side of the leg like this, okay, and still create that same position. I'm going to do it from here just as an example this time. Reaching up, thread the needle, three, two, one, here we go. Reaching through and up, okay. Use whichever version is appropriate to you. I'll show you an even easier one if you like, if this. It's too challenging for you, perhaps you don't have the upper body strength required to do it. Come down, hand on the ground, elbow on the ground, up. Same position, tight here. I'm going to finish it off here. Reaching up, thread the needle. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Those are your six exercises. We're going to go through them again, okay? So that was round one. Round two, as you saw at the beginning, we call that the faster round. My aim here is to try and get in as many reps as I can of each exercise as we go through this, all right? So starting again from number one, sit-ups. I'm going to put a little bit more effort into it, okay? We're going to see how many we can do. Maybe a little bit of a cardio workout here as we go. Right. Are you ready? Okay, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Up and back, up and back. Use some more momentum, a little bit more speed, a little bit more cardio. Oh, good. That's 15 seconds. Keep pushing. Oh. Oh. Keep going. Last five. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. Get the idea? Second exercise was heel touches. I'm going to do that again. Same again. A little bit quicker than last time. Feet down, arms straight, reaching up, touching the sides. Three, two, one. Faster. Okay, side to side. Good. Trying to get about double the pace that we had in the first round. Good. Touch, touch, touch. And we're keeping that tension here the whole time. Good. Ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Exercise three. Without too much rest, we're going to go into crunches. All right, faster crunches. I still want a little bit of a pause at the top, but we're going to make the movement a little bit quicker as we go. Are you ready? Head down. Three, two, one. A little quicker. Up, down, up, down. Still pause at the top. Still get that squeeze in because it is important even when we're going quick, okay? Maybe you can go faster than me, maybe you can't. Just remember, quicker, 
than before. That's the key thing. Keep going. Yes. Three, two, one. Last rep. Ooh. Right. Tucks. Still want a little bit of control and a little bit of elegance when we do this, all right? Don't make this ugly, but we want some speed. Ready, remember, hands up high, feet down low, three, two, one, go. Tuck, back, tuck, back, tuck, back. That's good, guys. Try and keep pace with me or faster. Imagine I'm the slowest person in the room right now, okay? I usually am. <laughs> Keep going. Yes. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Good. Take a drink if you need it. And we are going to go into our last two exercises. Now remember that was threading the needle on the side plank. We're going to start again on the left because that's where we started last time. I'm going to show you the easiest version that we missed out last time. So if you want, here, I'm going to start here and I'm going to get harder. I think that's how we'll do it. All right. So let's start easy. And through and up. Remember, we're looking for speed this time. Okay, I'm going to make this a little harder. Find the level that's appropriate to you. I'm going to come up on here. Good. And keep it going. Good, harder again. I'm gonna come up and through, up and through, and through, up and through. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, other side to finish. I'm gonna show you the hardest version of this exercise that I know, maybe no more difficult one, but for me, one hand, one foot. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if you can do it. Three, two, one, whoop, and through. And up, and through. I'm not gonna be able to do that for very long. <laughs> gonna regress it. Challenge yourself though, guys. There's no shame in trying something that's a little bit out of reach. Okay, that's the only way we're ever gonna get better. And there's no shame either in regressing it back as you go to stay with the workout, okay? Stopping is not the only option. Sometimes all you need to do is make the exercise a little bit easier for yourself or slow it down. But of course, this is the faster route. Three, two, one, and we're there. Round two, faster round complete. On to the third round. The third round, I call it the slower round. Now, as I mentioned before, sometimes, especially when it comes to core training, if you can go slow and control it, you're gonna get a hell of a lot more out of it, all right? So let's put that to the test. This time, I want you to go as slow as I am or slower, okay? Back to the start. Simple exercises, sit-ups. It's still 30 seconds. Let's see how few we can do. All right, and here we go. 30 starts now. Up, and let's back it off slow. Okay, up, and let's back it off slow. Putting the brakes on as we come back. Brakes, resisting that fall. Up, brakes. Two more reps. Up. Bricks! Whoa, do you feel that? Up! Bricks! Oh! 30 seconds. Well done. If you can go slow on the way up too, well done you. I can. We're gonna go for heel touches again. Heel touches, it's all about tension, it's all about keeping those shoulder blades up high, and we're gonna move slowly left and right. Okay? Let's do this. Slow motion. In position, hands out, three, two, one, and touch. And let's go, slow-mo, side to side. Both shoulder blades are off the ground. Tin, chin, not tin, is tucked in. 
and then just reach in to the heels of the ankles and we're going to be going at a quarter pace do that three two one Oof. breathe okay tucks are exercise number four in this workout we're going to go long okay we're going to go high with our hands we're going to slow these down in both directions okay take a deep breath this is about control remember guys make these reps look beautiful three two one go in hold and back oh beautiful in hold i'm like a flower <laughs> opening to the sun <laughs> let's go Squeeze. Oh, there we go. Pretty flower. Open it up. Oh, and back in. It's a sweaty flower. <laughs> okay. Up. Oh, we're going to try one more rep. Okay. You ready? In. Nice and tight. And out. Make it pretty. Make it pretty. Whew. Right. Good. Onwards. Last two. My favorite, <laughs> side planks. Starting on the left again. Slow is key, okay? I'm gonna do them from my knee, and then I'm gonna do them from my feet, all right? Let's start this. Oops, 30 seconds. Uh, reset, starts. Uh, now, let's go, that's up. And let's go, let's thread this as slowly as we can. Remember keeping those hips high following the hand with the eyes, looking up at the ceiling, and then coming through. Ooh, that's tricky. I said I was gonna do this with my knees, didn't I? I lied. <laughs> Last one. And up. Done. Next one. I'll definitely do this one for my knee. Hands out. On to your side. Can you see me? Okay, reaching up. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice and slow. Oh, wow, this is a lot easier. I should definitely be able to hit the slow mo button on this. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do one more rep, okay? One more rep. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. And. Done, well done. Okay, we've done the normal round. We've done the faster round. We've done the slower round. That gives us one round left. That round is the freeze round. Freeze, okay? Freeze round's great fun. Freeze round, we just start the exercises and I say freeze! And then you gotta stop, right? Wherever you are, and then you're gonna hold that for the rest of the time, all right? Static strength, that's what this one's about. Setups. This could actually be the hardest one out of the group. Feet on the ground and let's go, guys. 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, look at how we do this one. Freeze. Three, two, one. Up and back. Freeze. Oh, jeez. Hold that. Hold that. Keep that tension on. Keep that tension on there. Can you stay there? Oh, can you come back a bit further? Well, this is a tricky one. Stay right there. Hold that tension. Freeze it. Come on. Oh, I'm cheating so much. I'm cheating so much. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, right. <sighs> okay, <laughs> maybe shouldn't have chose that one. Right, next, we're gonna do the heel touches with a freeze, okay? 30 seconds. This one shouldn't be too tough, okay? This one will be not too bad after the setups, all right? Arms are straight, tuck in, and let's go left and right. And freeze. So I've frozen off to the right. Okay, I can feel that right oblique popping right now. Unfreeze, okay, let's go over to the other side. And refreeze, okay, let's stay over here for a little while. Let's stay over here for the last five, four, three, two, one. Oh, just to even things out, okay? 
rest. Nice job. Okay, crunches. I bet you know what's coming here, all right? Crunch position, as before. We're gonna put our hands on our temples. We're gonna come into that crunch and on the first rep, I'm gonna say freeze, all right? Three, two, one, up, freeze. Stay right here, okay? That tension is on and it doesn't come off. Right down the middle. You might feel it shaking. You might feel it cramping. But you got 20 more seconds left to go, okay? Hold it there. Hold it. 10 more. Mm, 10, 9, 8. Hold. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Good job. All right. Moving on. Tucks. All right. I'm going to gonna mess about with this one a couple of times okay so we'll probably stop in some different positions so just pay attention and get ready 30 seconds here nice and long high and I'm long with the feet three two one let's tuck and freeze unfreeze freeze okay let's stay about halfway out we've got our feet above the ground our knees slightly bent our hands slightly up back out unfreeze back up again freeze okay halfway there let's stay in this position as if we pause the video but i'm still talking five four three two one stop right there good we got two side planks left and then it's job done ladies and gentlemen all right side plank forget about moving this time we're just going to stay in that side plank for 30 seconds on each side, hardest version that you can manage. Are you ready? Find that version that suits you. Is it two feet, one feet, knees, elbows, whatever you want. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. If you have the hand up, look up, okay? Right to the ceiling, keep those hips high. Stay there. We're freezing, we've got 15 seconds left. I'm shaking like a leaf. I don't know about you. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Other side. Who said home workouts are easy? They certainly aren't. Okay. One foot in front of the other, just like walking. Ready? Up. Breeze. Hold it. Look up. Eyes high. Looking at the fingertips, keeping the shoulders square, keeping that hip up. Whew, give me 20 more seconds. Wow, it's only been 10. Keep going. Oh, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? It's like good, but in like a painful, uncomfortable way. <laughs> Keep going. Four, three, two, and done. Nice job. Well done. Okay, you just completed an at-home core workout all right hopefully that challenged you and hopefully you enjoyed it i'm going to do a quick stretch off all right if i stand up you're not going to be able to see me so i'm going to try and do this from a seated position <laughs> uh, okay what we're going to do is hands up high okay i don't know if you can see my hands and i want you to push your hips forwards and i want you to lean back okay usually i do this one on my feet but if i do that you're not going to see my face leaning back looking at the ceiling Excellent. Okay, let's see if this one works on the knees. Hands up, lean over. Yeah, that works fine. Up high, off to the other side now. Good. Okay, we're going to come down to the floor. Okay, we're going to do the lower back. Some people do experience a bit of lower back pain, especially when they train their abs in certain positions. So hopefully this one will help alleviate some of that. We're going to do cat cow. Okay, cat cow. So, we're going to do a cow, we're going to push our belly button into the floor. Alright, cat, and then cow up. Hold that. One more time, cat. I mean cow. <laughs> okay, cat, cat. And into the cat. Alright. Thank you very much for sharing this workout with me. I hope you're safe and well. 
If you want to follow me, my name is Ross Wilson. You'll find me Adapted Fitness Coach on Instagram. Um, please watch more of Bannatine's videos at Bannatine Live on YouTube. Uh, have a good day and hope to see you in the gym soon. Okay.